one is going to be an international incident. All right, we will take on one of the biggest, and I mean literally biggest up and comers in roast battle, and a roast battle Chicago tournament champion right now. Please get loud for tonight's main event, Tino and Ruslan Hassi. Oh my God, the Miami Whales are here, everybody. All right, so. All right. Yeah, hey, Slim Jims. There we go. You're sponsored by the Shed Aquarium. <laughs> Jesus. Tito, all right, Tito Ruslan, who wants to go first, boys? I'll go first. All right, Tito's gonna first. You guys know it. For everybody here tonight, for all the staff, please get loud. One more time. Three, two, one. Rose. Look at this mighty morphin' now and later. <laughs> He's a rapper and his favorite one is Snickers. That's it? Yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Tito says he is from Puerto Rico, but it's not true. It's not true. Actually, he is from Bikini Bottom. He lives in Pineapple Under the Sea. And Bikini Bottom actually is his gay nickname. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I'm getting roasted by a hot fudge sundae. <laughs> you look like your blood pressure is so high your pronouns are her, she's. You look like Palestinian Johnny Depp. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, battle! Uh, okay, uh, Ruslan, uh, that name in Russian means lion, as in he be lying at the doctor's office. Uh, <laughs> his blood type is, oh shit! Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, okay, let's do safari jokes. Uh, <laughs> okay. Everybody knows, uh, you know, an elephant's penis can grow up to six feet in length. Uh -huh. And Tito is a short king. So they both are bangling at the same level, have some hair, you know, uh -huh. and like big butts. And I cannot lie. Yeah, with it. Only one difference, he likes it male booty. <laughs> male booty. So I'm afraid of you a little bit. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Uh, sure. All right. <laughs> you look like something that's swirling. Uh, <laughs> his name is, shut up. His rap name is Lil Whale. Uh, it wasn't always that, but he changed it after they added that blowhole so he could take a shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you don't do animal jokes, I guess. Yeah, watch out. That shit is big. It's huge. <laughs> yeah, it takes days to shit for yeah, you. Yeah, sure. Uh, ah. Tito's father left the family because he didn't want a daughter. <laughs> But let's give some tribute to his mother, because she raised him the way she could, you know? And still, uh, Tito's quinceanera ended up, yeah, mm. uh, everybody mm. saying, mm. who is this mamacita with mustaches, and where is her father? <laughs> Good. He got through that, ladies and gentlemen. He just fucking, he duolingo the fuck out of that, all right? Ruslan tried to hijack a plane once, but he did it because he had to buy two tickets. Uh, and that was, out of, that was out of his price range. You know. If it was rap, so a good job, McMill. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's uh, flatline, buddy. Yeah, Tito uh, wanted to join the cartel, you know? Mm. And it's not because of drugs, women, or money. He just wanted a uh, daddy really bad and i like him really a lot i like him really a lot so by the end of this i'm gonna make him call me daddy <laughs> ruslan hasn't seen his dad or his dick since he's been 12. uh so you know 
Hell yeah. I don't know how old Ruslan is, but you count the rings on his neck, he's about 107. Uh, I don't know how they do that, but they do that, you know. Um, yeah, let's talk about some rings. Uh, when Tito moved to US, he actually had a typical terrorist look, you know? So he tried to change his style, adding up some jewelry, rings, you know, mm -hmm. cock ring, his headband, yeah. And now he's, he looks like a gay terrorist. <laughs> Last joke. And not yeah, only, uh, and no, not only on. because he looks, uh -huh. and he's still bombing on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting roasted by Cartman if his daddy was black. Anyways, I, uh, <laughs> he told, uh, I'm not surprised that, uh, that he's a rapper, actually. Because uh, ever since he was little, his palms were sweaty, his knees weak, and his arms are hella heavy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got vomit on his sweater, but you knew that already. <laughs> Thank you. Still bombing, still bombing. Yeah, uh, Tita is the <laughs> landlord. He no. drives Uber. You too. So if you didn't get it, uh, he rents his car on Airbnb. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want. That's where to, I met your mother. Yeah, if you want to bank in his car, it's like $20 per hour. But if you don't want him to watch, you better run to hotel motel. Duolingo, everybody, get you one. All right. All right. He's not gay. He's a frying pan sexual. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what we're doing. Then. I mean, we, we have more jokes. I didn't know we were doing. Ah, I got time. I have one more joke. Get okay, it? all right, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you were reading Did fucking novels up there, so it's hard to follow. I don't know if you have some, I'll figure it out. Uh, Tito's mom is on Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And we matched. <laughs> yeah? Because she is so fat. Oh, yeah. And if you want to know where we're going to the, for the first date, mm. It's an immigration office. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So I'm going to get my green card. And I'm going to celebrate it with a green condom. Mm, St. Patrick's And I'm Day. going to become your father. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was really funny. Ralphie, May, June, and July over here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's it. There we go. Oh, wow. There we go. Give it, once again, Ruslan surprisingly asking for extras. There we go. Another helping there. Chris Grigo, you want to start us off? Yes, they were. You guys were the fucking dynamic duo lingo up there. So, sorry. You said duolingo twice, so that's bad. But um, listen, wow, Ruslan, you are infuriatingly likable. You, however, you are shaped up there like a fucking concrete mixer. <laughs> and I love that about you. I mean, wow, this is just great. I love you guys together. You have the, you know, chemistry of, I don't even know how to describe it, but I'm scared. Um, listen, I think, I think Tito won it. Your writing was really good. You had a bunch of great jokes, so my vote goes to Tito. Good job, one guys. One for Tito, one for Tito. Mr. Allen Ford Jr. I don't know what the hell was going on up there, to be honest with you. Uh, at some point, I started playing Candy Crush. Um, so did he. I love seeing broken English and cocaine energy mixed together on the stage. Which one are you talking about? <laughs> And the fact that Rusev mixed two damn Marino jerseys together to get one, shout out to your Taylor buddy. But I'm gonna give it to Tito. Tito had better All right, two for Tito, two for Tito. Katie Kincaid. Oh man, I, it's funny because one of you definitely lives in the Ukrainian village and the other is the Ukrainian village. <laughs> Ruslan, you look like the butt plug that Tito uses. <laughs> Hell yeah. Man, this was so fun. This is a, this is a great example of like two two guys just having fun on stage, calling each other gay and fat. We love to see it. But uh, I think at the end, like, man, it was a lot of good stuff back and forth. But I think Tito just had like the punchier jokes. I'm gonna go with Tito. 
All right, Tito gets it. Mr. Derek, clear us out here, bud. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I don't know what to say here. That was uh, th that was good. I liked it. Uh, Ruslan, I don't know what to say. You look like you came here for a music festival and just stayed. And uh, <laughs> But I don't want to I wanna take up too much time because I know Tito has to get back to his job escorting strippers into the parking lot. So I uh, <laughs> got to keep the ladies safe. I, uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna give it to Ruslan because I really really did like that Johnny Depp joke and that just stayed with me. So I'm gonna I'm giving it to Ruslan. That's my vote. All right, give it up for Tito. Give it up for Ruslan. Give it up for them guys.